Snipers, you have to see what's happening to the cryptocurrency market today is Bitcoin is still testing this 50 day moving average and everyone is watching whether or not we are going to close this daily candle in two hours above this 50 day moving average because the body of this candle close is going to give us a lot of hints about the next move. And notice here in the volume, we do have some ascending sell pressure here. And today I'm going to also go through my altcoin portfolio here. You can see here we have all of these altcoins and Ethereum is one of the only altcoins right now showing strength when we look at Ethereum compared to Cardano, Polkadot and Binance coin. And that's exactly what we've been talking about over the last few days and so ethereum was certainly the better asset to be in during this dump you can see here on the daily chart with the ethereum the us dollar chart we had this very bullish wick here and if this does close here with this type of tail that is an extremely bullish sign back inside of this channel and above the weekly open that is a very good thing here for ethereum we have a lot to look at today you guys are watching the snipers channel my name is naeem alabadi if you appreciate this content smash the like button i'm going to first talk about what's happening here to bitcoin and you can see we're stalling out at this 50 day moving average and this daily candle body is about to close and the real question is whether or not we are going to close this above the 50 day moving average or below the 50 day moving average. And so below the 50 day moving average would be right around that fifty five thousand seven hundred dollar level and above the 50 day moving average would be right around that fifty six thousand five hundred dollar level. And so notice here the monthly, weekly and previous weekly open are all above price action right now. And so price action is below those major levels. And so we want to keep that in mind. A test of fifty eight thousand three hundred is high highly likely, especially if we have this bullish tail close. Uh, and of course, watching whether or not we're going to be above the 50 day moving average or below is also going to be key. And you can see we also have this major support here on the channel. And of course, this acted as a support here in uh, February and in March. And so we want to monitor this area as well. It's just below that fifty eight thousand three hundred dollar level. Uh, so really, that's still going to be the key level for me. Fifty eight thousand three hundred is extremely important. And so uh, one once this daily candle closes and we see the next daily candle, uh, if we come up to test 58,300, that's going to be a positive thing if we get above it. Um, and of course, it, when we look at this 50 day moving average, you can see uh, we're also fighting to see where the body of this daily candle is going to close. And we do have this ascending sell pressure. And we also want to take note of the total cryptocurrency market cap before we go into Ethereum. I know everyone is talking about Ethereum, looking at Ethereum, uh, but notice here with the total cryptocurrency market cap chart, we had this bullish test of the 50 day moving average. And you can see this wick here is extremely bullish. And now we're trying to get above this channel here uh, right around that two trillion dollar big even. And so I don't think that we're going to see the market just top out at a two trillion dollar market cap. Now, that's just uh, including all cryptocurrencies. And so we're starting to see some altcoins uh, see momentum outside of Bitcoin. And one of those, of course, is Ethereum with the Ethereum to Bitcoin chart. Notice how we have this extremely bullish week and we're positive on the daily candle right now. And you can see we're uh, right at that 40,000 Satoshi big even. And when we pull up the Poloniex version of this chart, which shows us the tw uh, 200 week moving average, you can see we're still coming up and we have the opportunity right now to test that right around that 41,600 Satoshi level. And so we want to monitor this a break of 42,000 Satoshis for Ethereum, in my opinion, is going to signal that we could see Bitcoin do whatever it wants, uh, but Ethereum might have the potential to decouple uh, and see an extreme rally to the upside. We've yet to reach our uh, full target here of that $2,700 level, and we want to monitor the weekly candle. You can see we have this uh, indecision candle that is uh, extremely important to watch here. Uh, and then, of course, um, with the Bitcoin chart, you can see this candle also showing indecision here with the wick uh, pretty equal on both ends when we look at the bullish and bearish case here. So realize that with Ethereum right now, um, I think things are looking very good, uh, especially if uh, we truly uh, have seen the uh, worst of this dump. Um, I think a lot of that is going uh, to come down to what happens to Bitcoin, whether it closes the body of the candle above the 50 day moving average or below it. And then from there, of course, uh, 58,300 is the area we want to get above. And then, uh, you know, tomorrow for those tuning into our channel, we're going to end up switching this 
level here, which is the previous weekly open to the current weekly open, because this is going to reset. And so we're going to monitor this and I'll change the other assets later uh, after this video. But I do want to cover um, some uh, um, of what's happening in traditional markets. Notice here with the DXY, we do have this uh, potential area here at the 50 day moving average where we may see some strength in a retest of the weekly open. I wouldn't be surprised if that uh, happens. So you can see we are going to move this previous weekly open to the current weekly open since this is going to reset. And so for the DXY to come up and test that, that could be a scenario that uh, allows traditional markets like the S&P 500 uh, to maybe come back to home base, um, which could be around that weekly open around that 4115 level when we're looking at the e mini futures contracts. And so monitor this level here for the S&P 500. Uh, if we see a pullback um, and we see the DXY rise up, um, that is just garden variety market behavior. Uh, but we certainly don't want to see the S&P 500 come down to the 50 day moving average like Bitcoin because that would signal um, almost like this domino effect of markets falling down. And so we don't want to see that. Um, and we do want to also monitor Japan at a minimum because we know all other traditional markets outside of this are extremely weak below the 50 day and 100 day moving average. But Japan is still holding the 50 day moving average. And so I think we should just monitor this. It's food for thought. And then we look at precious metals like gold here, testing this major channel resistance. If this area breaks, there is a potential we could see a retest of this uh, $1,800 level, 1850. And then uh, that's right there near 2000, which is the big even, of course. So we could see uh, maybe this channel kind of reverse and uh, change the narrative here. Um, and, and so this could be a reversal. We, we do want to monitor this because we are uh, now above the 50 day moving average for gold. Uh, and then when we look at the gold to Bitcoin chart, we're testing the 50 day moving average for the first time since we broke down from the 2017 support level that eventually you can see here when we first came up to test the 50 day moving average here in 2017, similar to what we're doing right now, after we saw the major push down from October to December, you notice how that ended up uh, reversing for gold. Uh, and so right now we are testing this 50 day moving average. And so I know we look at the Bitcoin to US dollar chart all the time, but if we're you know, a huge enthusiast of Bitcoin, um, what is Bitcoin representing? It's representing gold, right? So it's the digital version. And this is the hard asset of gold. And comparing Bitcoin to the actual hard asset that it represents uh, is probably not a bad idea. And so uh, we want to keep this in mind here. We called out this breakout before it even pushed outside of this channel. And now you can see we're testing the 50 day moving average for the first time. And you can see with silver, we're seeing the similar type of price action here. And so a lot of things happening um, really when futures markets open, what I'm going to monitor is how's the S&P 500 going to react uh, coming into the Monday open? Are we going to see some downside? Uh, and then, of course, uh, for the big elephant in the room, Bitcoin, uh, you can see right now we're trying to get above this 50 day moving average. This candle closes in two hours. So it's going to be interesting to see. Uh, you know what happens here. Uh, the closer we can get to 58,300, the better, in my opinion. We definitely got the rug pulled on us on this uh, exact area. You can see here that's where uh, you know the, the you know it obviously was an area that was manipulated during the weekend, and we know that there's a lot of weekend manipulation in the market. And so it's just some food for thought. Um, and so the puzzle piece I want to leave you guys with is kind of what I uh, brisked over earlier in this video, but I, I do want to leave this as a, a puzzle piece for you to take home is just notice the type of sell pressure we're seeing here with the total cryptocurrency market. Uh, you know, it is some uh, ascending sell pressure here. I think that's just a puzzle piece on the table. Um, and of course, uh, you can see here we did have a lot of sell pressure already when we first hit that one point seven five trillion dollar level. Uh, and so now we're hitting two trillion and we're starting to see uh, some more sell pressure come in. Uh, but so far, this was an extremely bullish wick indicating that some money did come into altcoins. You can see it looks like this daily candle wants to close above this channel. And so it would be garden variety market behavior to see a body of this candle close above this channel for the total cryptocurrency market cap chart. And we can potentially even form a bearish flag if we want to even call this you know, um, something that could break down. Um, but, you know, for this to just uh, kind of just follow, you know, um, a path downwards, I, I think is unlikely. You know, we all know the path of least resistance is always going to be sideways uh, to a little bit higher. And so that's exactly what we're seeing with garden variety market behavior when we look at the total cryptocurrency market cap. And so that's just some food for thought. 
And with that, I do want to give away one of my favorite books on value investing principles by Ray Dalio hardcover. If you want to win this book, comment below and share this video and I'll pick three winners. Uh, two from yesterday's video and one from this video on our video tomorrow and I think the day before that I have to pick a winner so we'll, we'll be doing a huge book giveaway tomorrow and with that thank you for watching and until next time snipers out